Today we'll look at some tips and tricks for selecting objects in SimCenter 3D. We'll be working with the selection bar. Make sure that it's on by selecting the check next to the selection group and then we can select different objects that we'd like to customize to include or not include in the selection bar. We'll begin on the far left of the selection bar selecting a general object type that we'd like to select. If we hesitate on the object and get the three dots, we'll get something called the quick pick, which will allow us to drill down through and select different faces that are within the selection bullseye. So we'll take the top one and using the object selection we can right click on it to select an action that we'd like to do to the object that we've selected, such as apply a fixed translation constraint. There are preferences that you can adjust for both the rollover delay and the quick pick delay for when objects get highlighted. So here we can adjust the rollover delay. You can see the quick pick delay is just below it. Alright, so next, instead of selecting the object first, we'll select the action that we'd like to take, which is to create a fixed translation constraint. And then we'll select the object with a rectangle. And this will gather the faces that are within the rectangle. I'll go ahead and deselect that. Next, uh, we'll try the lasso select technique. There you can see we get the faces within the lasso and we also have a circle. All right, and there's also another technique that you can use uh, using a 3D box selection. We'll begin by selecting an object to create an initial box around and then the type of objects we'd like to gather within that box, which is going to be the polygon faces. And then we can adjust the size of the box in order to select uh, different objects. And here you can see we have uh, the box selection rule is inside crossing. If we change that just to inside, you can see that we just get the faces that are completely within the box. We can also invert the selection if we want. And then upon selecting OK, you can see it collects those six faces for our fixed translation constraint. All right, next we'll take a look at the Smart Selector. Here we'll select Tangent Faces. We'd like to select all of the tangent faces starting with this face. And you'd expect it to select more than just one. If it doesn't select more. It may be because the Smart select, uh, Selector options need to be adjusted. So let's go ahead and open up the tolerance on the tangent face selection and here you can see now we get all of the tangent faces that we expected to collect with our Smart Selector. We have another option here with uh, the Smart Selector that we'll take a look at as well with tangent continuous edges. There are many others as well which I encourage you to explore. Here we'll select some tangent continuous edges that we'd like to apply a constraint to. Now let's say that we make a bad pick. We want to keep the other first two sets of tangent continuous edges. If we hold down the shift key and mouse button one, we can deselect just that selection. Now if we'd like to remove one of these curves, not all of them, we can go back in the smart selector to no selection method and holding down the shift key, select mouse button one to remove just one of those objects. And that concludes the demonstration.